Hello. Good morning. So, um, how are you guys? Sure. Okay. Uh, first foreigner. Uh, I have a foreigner here. He has a question. Um, now, he's asking me actually to translate the blog. So, um, see, um, sir, uh, even I translate the blog, <laughs> I couldn't translate the whole thing because some of it really doesn't make sense. So, um, I will just, uh, I will try my best to answer your question. Uh, some, yeah, some of my blog was all about, it was about visa and about the not getting married like that so uh, i will uh and just answer your question because uh i think some of those are uh, it's not actually helpful in your case so he said can you translate this in english please yon me and my woman want to be together but because of the rules of my disability, I can't be married with a license. So any information would help greatly. Yeah, that's what he said. So, uh, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, because, you know, the, of your situation, uh, it's like... Um, impossible for you guys to be together uh, uh let's see i don't know how to answer anyway um we Filipina. Uh, i don't know which country are you from so if you are in the u.s uh, we Filipina are not uh we are not allowed to come to the u.s using tourist visa if I don't, I don't know uh, if you can travel or not, but the possible re uh, uh, option if you guys cannot get married is you have to go to Philippines because uh, the lady, the Filipina, she is not uh, able to travel to U.S. unless um, she has enough enough fund she has a business over there she has um you know she has government at least government work stable job and she has records traveling to other countries in that way she can have a visa and visit you here in the u.s that's uh possible that they will allow here uh, to have uh, at least tourist visa because you cannot guys use a uh, fiancé visa um or spousal visa because you cannot get married with license so those visa uh, need um, need you guys have to get married and you of course you cannot just get married with the ceremony and all that but you really need it. you really need is the license you need a marriage contract for uh, her to be able to stay in the states so I don't know uh, uh, about your situation, yeah, uh, but if you are able to visit her, if you can travel, that's possible that you can meet her in the Philippines and uh, maybe you can stay there because the American have uh, 30 days uh, free visa in the Philippines. If it didn't change, I'm not sure because I've been living in the U.S. for almost two years now. But my husband before, I mean, I was still there. He always got a 30 days visa. Even he was just going to stay for two weeks on his plane ticket. The, it's uh, automatic. When they, he went to the immigration at the airport, they will uh, put on his passport to, uh, 30 days visa. So... Yeah, that's um, the only possible way 
for you guys to be together. Uh, plus, I, I doubt, I doubt that, uh, and you guys can, because uh, I'm just telling you what I heard, what I, you know, I read from the internet. Uh, I'm not really sure about the, all the rules. So, uh, you might guys uh, consider doing some more research so to make sure um, if there's uh, uh, any other possible way for the girl to be able to come to the U if you're here in the U.S. Uh, aside from you know doing the fiancé visa and uh, spousal visa because for us like uh, you know we're gonna leave her with the husband with our husband that's the uh, easier way for us is to come here uh, i know it's not easy it's it's really hard you but you have to try and no no you you might consider consider uh, talking to a lawyer immigration lawyer because they know better then just you know just the bloggers uh, they will help they can help you um because um, there's a lot of foreigners actually living in the philippines but i i don't know the, because you have roles in your uh, you know situation these roles you might not allow to travel or you might not allow to live over there so it's not possible to <laughs> so it's really hard i i know uh, it's hard for the for two people who love each other, each other that uh, it's um, there's a lot of you know um, bridges that they have to cross just to be together <laughs> But you have uh, to try. That's the only option you can. I can give you, because uh, doing the translation that ask as you ask uh, wouldn't help, because uh, those things that I mentioned you really need uh, marriage license. The um, the first thing the question is like. She was asking me in that in that blog that you watch, uh, if if they can get married on their first meet first meet first meeting, but the situation was really different because uh, he wasn't he was able the guy is able to marry her, he can get a license to get married. So having the license um, to get married uh, is really. Um, big difference in the in this situation so that's why i didn't even consider translating because it's all about the visa and how to process the visa and all that uh, it's all spousal and the key one so both those visas you need the you need the like marriage license you need the, to marry the girl coffee So if um, if you can't if because of the situation, you might try to consider going to the Philippines. If it's not really bad, I mean, we don't know what level is your disability, right? So that's the only option. You will go there um, to meet her. If she, if she's not uh, able to come here. It's really hard for the Filipinas um, to travel actually around the world. <laughs> even we, we, we even have free visas, but if we don't have enough funds, we can't, of course. Hmm. That's why the easier way is you will visit her and stay there. And, you know, you can, you have 30 day visa, you know, and, you guys will be together. You don't need to get married. You 
you don't you guys need you don't have to get married to be together if you are in the Philippines. But for her to come here to the US, it's impossible. So, that's all. I, I'm sorry if you are having this har hardship. Uh, and it, it's not really easy because um, I felt that we even when we were trying to apply the visa, I, I sometimes I felt I, I was hopeless. <laughs> I don't, I was so anxious to come here and then there's some errors and I was like, oh, I cannot go to the U.S. <laughs> so, yeah, but I know uh, you can find uh, other way aside from getting married. Just do some research really and talk to a lawyer, the immigration lawyer. So she knows, uh, she will give you advice. I don't have aside from the key one and disposal visa I don't know the other process of the you know I don't know about the rules coming for the Filipino to come to, you, to the US except those two visas so without the marriage license I don't know you can just try like what I said okay Anyway, thank you, sir, for uh, watching my vlog, and I hope you guys are, uh, you can go, you guys will be together someday. Yeah. Thank you so much. Bye.